Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another brand new video, and in today's brand new video, I have another list. A uh, while back, I did a list, I followed up for a guy on Reddit who said you only needed to have five whiskies for the rest of your life. That was great. I did my five, I put my five out. I hope you all enjoyed my five, but I've just recently watched a video from over in the States from Matt from ADHD Whiskey. Great channel over there, guys. I'll drop a link into the description. If you've not already caught up with Matt, pop into the link, have a look. Fantastic channel. So Matt's tweaked the list a little bit, put on his twist on the list, and he's asked, well, he's challenged most of the whiskey channels. He's in fact, he challenged all the whiskey channels to come up with their list following his criteria. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. Just a quick one, Matt. I have changed one of the categories, tweaked it a little bit. It just suited me a little bit better. Hope you don't mind. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's crack on. Let's dive in. Let's see what we have today. So, the first category on the list was that Entry Buzz Whiskey. So, I, my interpretations from Matt was it was a hard hitting, gets you excited, gets you going, great pour, cast strength whiskey, no need to set your palate up, just dive in, this one would set you up and get you on your road to whatever the night brought out. So, my, my choice of that whiskey was very, very easy, it was the Aaron Sherry Cask. Natural cast strength, Sherry Hogs Heads, 55.8 ABV, non chill filtered, natural colour, straight in. Look at the colour of that bad boy, absolutely fantastic stuff. It, it was complex, it's luxurious, it's, it's dark chocolate, it's figs, it's raisins, it's all that spice, it's all fantastic. This just gets you going for anything that's to follow afterwards. That, so that's my entry buzz whiskey, Aaron Sherry Cask. So, number two on the list was a current favourite, which I'm very, very happy to do. Yes, current favourite, I think the operative word is current, it can change. One minute you could be thoroughly enjoying a peated whiskey, you could be enjoying a bourbon, you could be enjoying a sherry cask whiskey. So the one that I'm really enjoying at the minute might not come as a surprise to most of the guys who follow the channel regularly, but it's that bad boy again. Look at that one. That's the Glen Allocky Cast Strength 10 year old. This is the batch four. I'm really, really enjoying this one. It's 56.1 ABV. So again, it's high ABV. Again, natural color, non chill filtered, dark as molasses. Absolutely wonderful. This is, it's just sherry, 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 it's raisins, it's figs, it's chocolate, it's all the things that we'd want and it's such an easy pour. In fact, this is the third bottle of this I've gone through and batch five, I've got a couple of bottles of batch five in the post. My current favourite in the minute is the Glen Allocky 10 cast strength batch four. Loving to see what batch five is going to bring up for us. So, this is where I changed one of the categories a little bit. I've changed it to, I think Matt had it as not on the radar. I don't think I've changed it too far. I've, I've changed it a little bit because a lot of the whiskies here, there's not a lot of whiskies here that's not under the radar, but I wanted to try and get something American in. So I've gone with a bourbon. I've gone with Knob Creek. I think Matt actually chose a Knob Creek as well, but I've gone with a Knob Creek bourbon. Uh, it's 120 proof. I think this one's round about nine years old. Absolutely fantastic. It was a, it was gifted to me by the Dram Yankee over in the States, Mr. Jerry Kersey. I'm very, very thankful. But, well, as you can see, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Again, what a beautiful colour. And again, this is a real, real nice, nice bourbon. And for all you guys that's watching from the UK... Do us a favour, try and have a wee sample of some bourbons from time to time because you'll love what's going on. So that's my number three, uh, Knob Creek Single Barrel Bourbon uh, from over there in the States. 
Okay, so number four on the list was one of those ones that's to make your friends jealous. So when someone comes over and they're doing a little bit of showing off, you can do a little bit of showing off of your own. Well, I've just bought this bottle and you can say, wow, bang, what about that bad boy? What about that? Is it better than that one? Glen Goyne 25. That, that's a whiskey to show off. It's luxurious. It's got absolutely everything. It's it's trifled. It's sherry. It's, it's raspberries. It's strawberries. It's all sorts of berries. It's, it's thick, it's oily, it's 48% ABV, it's 25 years in hand-picked sherry casks. It's unhurried since 1833, so you can really rub that in their face. But if they pull out another one and say, well, I can do that, then you would just say, well, what about that one? Can you beat that? Can you beat a Buna Haben 28? Absolutely fantastic. This is from Weems Malts. 28-year-old... Buna Haben, it's a mix of 31 casks. This is probably one of this it's the first bottle I've bought from Weems Malts, but I think they're up and coming. It's an independent bottler, but 28 year old Buna Haben, that would certainly light people up. So that, that's my number four on the list to show off a little bit. So, leaves me one more. Number five on the list. What have we got for number five? I think that was drink and entertain I'm not going to attempt a long pour before you get settled down and you get ready to dive into this I'm just going to settle in nice and nice and easy this is a whiskey that I think yes if we want to sit down and drink and entertain so this is the one for me so I have a Lejig 10 dead dead simple this is to entertain, this is to drink, it has got everything, it is rich peat, it is smoky, it's spicy, it's not going to break the bank, so you can entertain as often as you like with it, you can drink it as much as you like, you can drink bottles at a time, responsible drinking of course, um, but yeah, Lejig 10, absolutely fantastic, so that is my five whiskies. My current whiskies, my five, my part two. If, if you can only have five whiskies. So that's hopefully you've enjoyed those guys. Thanks for Matt. Guys, if you haven't checked out Matt's channel, go and have a look. It's ADHD Whiskey over there in the States. Doing some fantastic stuff. Uh, but that's me. I'm Alan. Until the next time. As always, the pleasure is the sharing. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.